Welcome to Review 1000. Um, I never thought I'd get past 100 reviews, to be honest. Fantastic stuff, man. Um, I know it's, you know, wow, you've reviewed a 1,000 videos online. Not exactly something you could put on your CV, but uh, it's still an achievement in itself. And, um, yeah, so, first of all, massive, massive thank you uh, to everyone who has... Uh, subscribed, commented over the years that I've done this, done this for a few years now. Yeah, the, the support has been wonderful and uh, the, the people who I've met have just been irreplaceable. Do you know what I mean? Uh, the UK beer tuber guys uh, who I've met up with um, plenty of times now and long may it continue. And of course, you know, Paul from Pierre Brew News who came out to visit us and all the guys who uh, and girls who I speak to um, through YouTube, Instagram, not so much on my uh, Clueless Stringer Facebook page or Twitter because I just really don't touch them. Yeah, I know it's not the most polished content out there. Um, I know the videos go on for ages and ages and ages, but uh, the fact that people are still interested in what I have to say about beer, because I'm, I'm learning um, from beer to beer, from experience to experience, and I think the most rewarding thing aside from drinking a beautiful beer is meeting um, a lot of people who uh, you know they mean a hell of a lot to me and uh, now here I am 1000 reviews later uh, looking at a beer that I've been searching for quite a while now when I show it you might think well you've seen the intro you know the title and it's all in the description you're thinking really that's beer 1000 but this is a beer that I've, I've really wanted to try for such a long time and uh, funny enough, I picked this up when I was visiting Rob from Hopzine. Um, we went to uh, the Triangle, uh, the bottle shop close to Rob. And um, yeah, I saw this on the shelf and I was like, I don't care how much that beer is, I want to buy it. And uh, yeah, then I got to meet you know Gav from Triangle. And um, then the next day we went to Sheffield, uh, quite a few of us, and got to know some really interesting and awesome people. So... That aspect alone for me is so much more rewarding. It doesn't matter about the view count, doesn't matter about the subscriber count. Not that, you know, people who subscribe shouldn't be, you know, commended and rec recognised and appreciated. That's not what I meant. It's just I'm not about the numbers. If I was, I'd have stopped this ages ago. Do you know what I mean? And, um, yeah, anyway. Massive, massive thank you. Vibration on the phone. Nobody spoke to me about two hours since I've come home from work and now I get a message. Um, professional. So we're going over to Mikola once again. Uh, a regular feature uh, on the channel, it would seem. This is a collaboration that they did with Lindemans and this is the Spontan Basil, which is a, uh, a sour beer brewed with basil. Um, so it's essentially a pesto beer and uh, I had a whole idea for this video because I've uh, I've been making my own pesto recently and um, So much better than what you get from the supermarkets that being said pesto from the supermarkets is really nice anyway And obviously you can go to uh, plenty of restaurants. Um, I need to make a pilgrimage to Italy um, for the food um, So yeah, I was going to do my own pesto make a whole big thing of it, but um yeah, it's been about a week since I've actually uploaded a video, so it's been stuck at 999. So I thought, no, just get this done, get a nice intro, and get it recorded. So yeah, Lindemann's Authentic Lambic Beer, Spontan Basil. And uh, yeah, this is clocking in at 6% ABV. So I'll quickly read you what it says on the description. So Spontan Basil is a unique collaboration between Lindemann's and Mikola, Breaking the mould among other existing beer styles, the brewers combined efforts to craft this old goose with a twist, 
still don't know if I've ever pronounced that word properly, not twist, uh, based on a blend of 12 months with two to three year old lambic fermented on oak with fresh basil herb. Uh, Refermented in the bottle, spontan basil has a golden colour and combines the sourness of lambic with the aromas and flavours of fresh basil. The ideal aperitif, also perfect for food pairing. Uh, well, I'm actually going to be having um, lamb burgers a bit later on, so I'm sure this will go down a treat with them. And uh, yes, yeah, 6% ABV. This is uh, this was bottled on March 2018, so it's not the oldest of bottles. And uh, yeah, I've never been able to source this. Uh, to be honest. So when I saw it, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I think I paid a pretty good price considering what some of the, the Mikula, you know, big bottles go for. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous looking bottle painted onto the, the bottle itself. And uh, there's a really nice, simple green crown, green um, wrap on the neck. And uh, yeah, I, I can see this being used as a candlestick holder or a candlestick. No, a candle holder or a candlestick. A candlestick holder holds candles. Anyway, I came home from work a bit early, so I thought, do you know what? I'm having a beer. And uh, let's see if we can get this off. I don't really need to preserve the bottle cap because it's just a simple green one. And I was going to say, shit, I need to get the cork out, but... Uh, I have one here. So, uh, if you want to see fail, then uh, you've come to the right place, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm terrible when it comes to corks. Um, luckily, there's nothing above me that can smash, so uh, let's get that in there. And, uh, what is going on here? Is that actually going in, or is that just crumbling? Okay, it's officially become like cake. Uh, what the hell am I going to do with this? Uh, I'm not going to edit this out. There we go. Let's give it a good... That looks so... I actually think there's something wrong with the corkscrew. What is going on? I just twist it and it just literally crumbles. Stick it down a bit. Oh well, we're off to a cracking start. Let's see if we can actually get that to go in. There's going to be pieces of cork in the, the bottle itself. Look at that. It's a crumbly mess. So I will have to stop this video here while I get this bottle opened. If I can actually get it opened without compromising the beer. So, uh, be right back. Okay, so after finally managing to get that cork through in, let's pull out the cork, see what we get. So, oh, there we go. So, a little bit of a crust around the rim. I think we've all been there before. There we are. Crisis averted. So, just hope that nothing has gone into the beer itself. Anyway, beer is finally open. Now, I know beforehand that on paper, for me, this could work. Um, but the fact that it's a, it's a basil sour lambic, um, there is a chance that I might not even like it. But that's just the risk you take. But it's one off my bucket list. And uh, yeah, I think even Mickler, they've done like a carrot spontan beer. And uh, yeah, so really interested. And spontan is probably one of my favourite beer series. So I'm just going to use my... Uh, I'm one of those people who buys a festival glass for a festival that he never went to. I like her when people wear Ramones t-shirts and they don't know who the fuck Ramones is. Or the Ramones are, I should say. They can probably speak better English than I can anyway. Don't know why I'm doing it in such a small glass. I think that's me trying to say I want to take my time with this beer. But we shall see. Anyway, beer in the glass then. And uh, there's a really subtle haze to this. A little bit cloudy. Uh, lovely sort of uh, peachy out apricot looking colour with a bit of amber in there. Beer poured with uh, just shy of half a finger's worth of white head. Looking very pretty in the glass. So let's give it a swirl and a sniff. 
Well, I'm definitely getting the lambic aspect of this beer. And once you've got that initial whiff of uh, the, the sour lambic, you do get the basil coming through. But it's actually not as strong as I was expecting it to be. Um, maybe it has subsided um, since it was bottled last year. But yeah, it's there. But if you didn't know it was a basil uh, beer, you probably wouldn't pick it up. Or most people probably would, because my palate and nose is terrible. But, but yeah, it's smelling really nice. It's what you expect. Just I might have liked it with maybe a little bit more basil, but as I've come to discover with like hazy IPAs, you can have the most aromatic, in-your-face New England-style IPA that literally like clouds the room in a cartoon style with its aroma and then take a sip and it's like, oh, well, is that really all that's to it? So I kind of like when beers don't really promise too much on the nose. But there's still a tiny bit of me wants like a big, like as if you've ripped basil straight off the bunch and just scrunched it in your nose. I do like basil a lot. It's probably one of my favorite herbs. Not that you asked, of course. It's it's smelling nice. It's it's Lindemans and Mikula, so you're not exactly going to get a subpar beer. Let's be honest. Anyway, so it's breathed a little bit in the glass. Let's see what we get on the taste. Cheers, guys, and massive, massive thank you to everyone who's stuck around and to new people alike. I think I'm on like 480 subscribers as I'm recording this. And that, to me, just astonishes me. Do you know what I mean? So uh, this one is for all you guys and to all the, the UK beer tube, tuber chaps and lasses who I've come to know. And, of course, people from all over the world. It's an all-encompassing thing, and I get to share beers like this with you all. So uh, cheers, guys. Cheers. Very awkward way to say cheers. Cheers. How many times can you say cheers in a video? Maybe you should play a drink drinking game with her Peterisms. Actually, don't because you will die. Cheers, guys. Yes. What you don't get on the nose is so evident in that beer. And it works really well with the funky sourness of the Lambic base. There's a band name for you. Basil is really evident, uh, but it's not overwhelming. So it doesn't just become this generic vegetative, herbal, savoury character. You still get the vibrancy of a basil leaf. And then there's this lovely fermented sweetness coming through the uh, the base style itself. Nice prickly carbonation, medium mouthfeel, not too heavy, um, which is good because it's not too heavy as it goes down. There's a little bit of a an acidic uh, sensation, but not too much. Uh, that being said, I'm not going to be rushing to drink this beer. Um, I want to take my time with it. Uh, I'll probably fill this glass up maybe one more time, then put me a, a trusted uh, stopper on it, which actually doubles up as um, an offensive weapon and an actual hammer. It actually works well as a hammer. It's nice and gentle and rounded. It's not too in your face. It doesn't stray off in one direction and become abundantly rich. I mean, you, you've got the, the brewing heritage of someone like Lindemans, who uh, I don't drink enough of those sorts of beers from breweries from that region. Do you know what I mean? I mean, yeah, I may have saying that the, the Spontan series from Mikla is one of my favourites, and I like Lambic beers. But I don't really actually drink that many, and it's something that I do really need to work on, to be honest. Yeah, this is really nice. It, it, it's got that, it, it's just, you can taste the basil, and that's the important thing. It 
Yeah, I like that a lot, really. Um, is it the the greatest lambic beer or sour beer that I've ever had? No, not really. Um, is it my no now my favourite spontan beer? No. Um, am I happy that I paid what I did for it? Yes, because uh, it's it's turned out to be really really lovely. Was it what I was expecting? Probably not. I think I had this idea in my head that it's just like really potent basil character but i think actually that would just be way too much if it was but at the same time it doesn't just fade into the background so it's not just oh it's a, it's a lambic beer wow but i wanted to review this for beer 1000 because it's just for me it's a, it's a bucket list beer because it's just interested me so much uh would I be tempted to buy another bottle? Um, I might like to try um, an older batch and then also if they brew it again when it's uh, released. Price-wise, I think that's what would stop me from getting another uh, getting another bottle tomorrow. Although then part of me is like, oh, there's a bottle that I can get hold of. I'm going to buy it now. Um, I'm really interested to try more of these uh, collaborations. Hmm. But yeah, this, this is a beer to savour. Um, to me anyway, it's a celebratory beer. Do you know what I mean? And I, I know I'm just pretty much sat in my living room, um, weirdly positioned on camera. But I'm very happy that I opened this, and uh, this is going to see me through uh, the rest of the evening. But saying that, I'll probably end up having another couple of beers, just because. But yeah, Mikola... I know you hear that name on my channel a hell of a lot with uh, the stuff I get from the beer club, but um, I don't actually rarely buy uh, Mikla beers that often um, on their own when I see them. Um, I know we've been getting a lot more of uh, the San Diego stuff uh, showing up in places like Brewdog, which I think is great. Uh, the prices that you pay are really good as well. I think you're paying like £10 for double IPA, which I know there are other American beers uh, like that on the shelves in places like Brewdog for a little bit cheaper but I think being able to try these beers now is just really fantastic and um, sometimes you pay the price you get every penny uh, out of it this I'm not going to grumble at how much I paid um, because I get a lovely beer drinking experience and then there's no way I'm getting rid of that bottle because it's just beautiful it's a work of art in itself and I love that about uh, beer as you can see we've got the, the beer labels uh, made a collage of German beer labels <laughs> and you know it, it's great you get to own a little piece of art uh, with most labels and, and I like that I like that um, I need to actually start buying more prints from the likes of, you know, Keith Shaw and Casper Leerditz and that sort of stuff. Uh, I know Nick Dwyer releases prints. I'm not saying prints as in the artist, formerly known as prints. Uh, but yeah, Drew Millwood, some of his work is gorgeous. And I, I love the the graphic design, illustration, art side of beer. And uh, this just, it's beautiful. And uh, I'm sure I can get a use out of that. So yeah, uh, in terms of a rating then, um, I'm happy to give this an 8.75 out of 10. I think this was this would complement um, just a lovely simple dish of homemade pesto and pasta. Just something nice and simple, sat outside on a much more uh, bright and warm day. Uh, than it is right now although i'm absolutely loving the downpour that we've just had and it's cooled down a little bit because as you can see i don't have the uh, pigment to deal with any sort of sun and uh yeah so i'm gonna start cooking uh my food i'm gonna put this in the fridge don't need to rush to get another glass of this i might on my next glass wait for it to get to room temperature or warm up a little bit because this i'm not going to like straight out of the fridge but you're still getting loads of flavor and it, it's dry on the back end now because my, my my saliva glands are going to the point where 
it's a good job I'm not wearing one of those microphones because you would just be hearing sticky, nasty lip sounds. Um, but yeah, lovely stuff. Just a shame that I've got no one here to share it with. <laughs> that being said, I've got all of this beer to myself. So. so if you've tried this, then let me know your thoughts opinions down below. Are you a fan of these sorts of beers? Are you a fan of Mikla? Are you a fan of Lindemann's? Give me recommendations for beer like this. Because, you know, we tried the Dry Fontaine stuff uh, when I was in Birmingham with everyone. It was tasting lovely. I'm pretty sure um, a lot of the bottles that I'm going to be have at the upcoming bottle show will be Belgian or Wild Ale inspired so uh, yeah it's just been an aspect of beer or a portion of beer that i've just for some reason not really gone out my way to try um but anyway enough waffling let's uh wrap this up mm. oh, so nice i think this is actually getting a little bit better as i'm drinking it as it's slightly warming up Lovely stuff. If you tried it, let me know your thoughts, opinions. Massive, massive, massive thank you to each and every one of you who watched this video. And if you're not watching this video, you're not seeing this, but I'm going to say thank you anyway for subscribing, commenting, liking, sharing, get in touch with me. The generosity from uh, people within the industry as well as the people I've met who are just fans of this like I am. Um, it is really rewarding. And yeah, it's like with every hobby. You do get the shits as well not literally well mind you we've had a few shits thanks to beer but you do get the the arseholes and the, the the dickheads but when it's just you with a mutual uh, respect for the craft with people who you know are open-minded and thankfully uh the especially the uk beer tuber guys who i've met um, I would not change them for the world and uh, I very much look forward to any sort of meetup or outing with them and of course for any meetups with uh, any of you guys out there who you know I've, I've, I might have chatted to um, in a comment because I'm, I'm actually replying to comments now or you know people who have come across on hangouts and stuff like that um, it's just so so rewarding and I uh, just want to thank you, each and every one of you so it's not a 10 out of 10 fireworks in the sky beer, but it's it's feeling good that I've managed to track this beer down and do a review of it for 1,000. And I think it makes so much sense. So uh, here's to 1,000 more and probably about four or five stone added to uh, my gut. But it's all worth it at the end of the day. And uh, yeah, so if you come across this, then it's definitely worth giving a try. Or if you see it at a bottle show, then uh, anticipate a really intriguing beer drinking experience. So links to both breweries are down below. Mikla playlist is there. Should I promote my Mikla beer club referral link? Yes, I will, because I'm a feckless shill. And I'm off to go marinate some chicken wings and cook some lamb burgers. And I'm going to bloody well enjoy them. Thanks for watching guys and you all take care. Cheers.